Hey there, everybody. <laughs> Aloha, brother. Oh, yeah. I would feast on these chickens. I'm going to have these my teeth. Just dangling. So majestic. He's not a handsome guy. How we doing? Traveling with kids. Ahuma, ahuma, ahuma. Shoo! Psych! What is up, everybody? We got a vlog coming to you from Maui, Hawaii. For those of you that don't know, Maui is a Hawaiian island. I'm like this island boy. From Hawaii, we are staying in the Grand Wailea in the Napua Tower. And I mean, guys, look at this. It is just absolutely incredible. Oh my God. I mean, it's a lot different than an uh, indie, like, let me tell you that. <laughs> But we've been to Hawaii a couple times, but we've never stayed in a resort like this before. And I just want you to know, Kiana wanted to stay in the Four Seasons, but I wanted to stay here. I blame so, White Lotus. So we stayed here. So the room is just incredible. We got a big bed. I mean, it's just beautiful. Like bathroom big, like it's crazy. Aloha, brada. Guys, traveling with kids is super hard, but it is very rewarding to just see how like excited she is to go down in the pool, how she's jumping around. And as hard as it was to take that 11 hour flight with her, she actually was good. So, but it was still hard, of course, because 11 hours with a almost two year old is always difficult. We're about to go explore the pool and she's excited. Guys, after staying at this resort for not even, what, five hours? Not even like two. I don't think I could ever stay at a normal Airbnb ever again. Like, I just can't do it. Like, after being here, like, I've never stayed at a resort like this, or I've never stayed at a resort, period. It's absolutely incredible. The rooms are incredible. Everything's incredible. Incredible. Pool, the service. Now, I will say it's hella expensive. And that's part of the reason I've never stayed at a resort before because it's so darn expensive. Look at this, guys. Just, just look. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you the whip right here. We got the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Funny story, Kiana actually had a Jeep and I hated it so much that I turned it in and I sold it. Took a loss on it, but I just hated the car. And now here I am renting another one. They're good cars, like they just don't fit me. But for a Hawaii vacation, they're perfect. We're here at the Wailea shops right here. We're about to go get some Lapperts ice cream. Lapperts is supposed to be the best ice cream on the island. I think it is really good, but my favorite personally, shaved ice with the vanilla ice cream. That is my, my favorite for sure. We're about to go get some of that yummy yummy. So I got my Lapperts ice cream. I kind of went sicko mode here chocolate and mango so not a very common mix mila's just making a mess over there i gotta go run and grab napkins all right guys it is 7 12 and i have hit an absolute wall i am super exhausted i mean back in indy right now it is 1 13. the first day was great i actually need to go to bed soon because i'm going on an axis deer hunt tomorrow i'm not going to film the hunt but i will let you guys know if i have some success i'll see you guys in the morning it is 4 5 40 and i am headed to my axis deer hunt so we have to head over to my guy Jeff's house because he is actually my guide today. You have to use a guide when hunting access deer in Maui because there's not a good enough population to hunt on public land. Like it's almost near impossible to get them on public land. Get off my property! Or else I just do it myself. It'd be a lot cheaper that way. For those of you that don't know, they got chickens everywhere in Hawaii. Oh, and if I was ever hungry, like seriously, I would never go hungry here. I would feast on these chickens. They're everywhere. Yeah, look, like there's two right there. Look, two delicious chickens sitting in the middle of the road. Oh, and there's one right there. I would never go hungry if I, like if I was stranded here. I would just feast on chickens. I had to stop by Safeway here because I did not plan accordingly. And there are no restaurants or breakfast spots open at 4.30. I actually feel great because it's 4.45. So back in Indiana, it's 10.45. So I feel like I am wide awake. Let's get it. And I got myself a nice 
little turkey sub and a little bit of juice. Wish me luck. I will surely let you guys know if I have some success today, 100%. I will see you guys after the day is done. All right, guys, so I hunted hard with no luck. Psych! Psych! <laughs> oh my gosh, I mean, I had a blast. So I was able to harvest a Axis deer and a ram, which is a mouflon hybrid sheep. It's not 100% mouflon. It was awesome. Like, like I love Maui. I mean, I liked it before, and then I found out that I could hunt. Oh my gosh. We did have some success, and we had a lot of fun. So a big thanks to Jeff at Arrow One Ranch. I mean, it was a ton of blast. Jeff and his son were awesome. You guys are in Maui, and you want to do what I just did. I mean, you guys didn't get to see any of it, but I mean, it was awesome. But don't worry, because we're going fishing, and I'm going to film that, okay? Don't worry, because I will capture that. And also, like, I didn't want to film the hunt because I wanted to be like in the moment you want to be where your feet are and if i'm filming and trying to hunt then i don't get to enjoy it as much so i wanted to make sure that i could enjoy it and people are sensitive to it anyways but i do hunt and i've been hunting for a very long time for those of you that didn't know i mean just look how beautiful it is guys like driving windows down i mean the beach is right over what more could you ask for be nothing nothing more. like this is awesome so i'm headed back to the hotel i'm gonna shower and get cleaned off and meet back up with kiana and we really don't have a plan for today but it was already a great day it's funny because i'm walking through the hotel right now all in green camo and everybody's just looking at me crazy right now like what is this guy doing what type of mischief is he up to? But I got a lot of time because Kiana just got to the restaurant, so I might go fishing, probably won't. I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna shower and get some food. I might not even shower, I might just go get some food. Home sweet home. 10 out of 10 experience, I 100% will be doing that again. Not only was it fun, I learned a ton. That's always what I'm looking for in a guide, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about killing things, you know? It's about learning and being able to see the animals. I mean, we've seen so many animals today. It was actually crazy, because Axis deer are actually invasive to all the Hawaiian islands, so they're kind of getting like out of hand. There's just so many deer like on the island. And, and when I first came to Maui, I mean, I've been here like three other times and I had no idea that there were deer here and that you could hunt them. Went two for two. It's always good when you have some fun. But yeah, people down there were looking at me crazy because one, I got blood on my pants too. So they're probably looking at me like I'm some sicko. All right, guys, it's the next day. I actually crashed out, which never happens to me. Maybe that's a sign I'm getting older. Today, we're gonna try to go to a couple beaches and we're gonna try fishing from the beach. I brought some gear right here, as you guys can see. I got two nine foot poles. I'm gonna be using this one only today just because I wanna pack light. But look at this right here. Look, look at this. It's just crazy. Like, I probably told you guys, a hundred times, but I've never been to a place like this because I'm the guy that usually tries to go as cheap as he can because that's just how I've always done things. And I'm learning that you pay for quality, you know? Like I've purchased a couple things in the recent future or in the re recent past, not recent future, that doesn't make any sense, that I've been very happy with and they were a little more expensive than I would usually pay for things, but I've been getting quality back every single time. So I guess that's just how life works. We are currently in Lahaina and we have some what is it shaved ice ice cream yeah. with uh what is it condensed milk something like that we are currently clothes shopping for me let's see if we can find her something for our photo shoot that we got today but out here in the town of Lahaina I'm gonna head back towards the hotel to go to some other shops. They got a really nice mall over there. Mila's just taking a little side detour here. Tell them what you got on it. I got vanilla ice cream. Yep. Strawberry, coconut, and lehing moi flavored syrup with the snow cap and lehing moi powder. There you go. Yep, and then I just got, like I told you, root beer. But look at the belt. It's huge. Do you guys remember when I said traveling with kids? is awesome and it is but you gotta go through times like this mila is upset because she didn't want to get in her car seat but we have a photo shoot planned here she didn't want to get her hair done yeah. she didn't want to get dressed she didn't want to do nothing but you can see kiana's all dressed up nice so hopefully hopefully we can get mila to go with the photo shoot it's looking like it's gonna be pretty rough maybe 
if I'm lucky after the photo shoot I'll have enough time to throw a couple lines in the water you know what I mean Hawaiian fishies so we're headed to Big Beach to do our photo shoot Mila it's okay honey we're going to the beach and we're gonna play in the sand it's gonna be so fun remember traveling with kids is worth it but it ain't easy look at Mila wow look at you so majestic <laughs> over there Wow. So crazy. And look at your belly too. Your belly button nice. sticking out. <laughs> I guess like a button. Look at the beach. It's kind of cloudy and raining a little bit, but. All right, guys, that concludes our photo shoot. And I did throw a couple lines, but this isn't a great fishing beach, so I didn't catch anything. I think the photos are gonna turn out great. I'm excited about it. And now we don't have a ton of daylight, but I'm gonna try to run over to the other beach. I only have 15 minutes of daylight. Let's see if we can catch one fish today. One fish, that's all I ask, one fish. Let's get it. It would have seemed, I thought I was recording the whole time. It's super dark anyway, but I actually caught like four fish. Just kidding, I didn't catch a single thing. I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and we're gonna change that. So it's late anyway and I'm using a jig. I mean, I'm not even sure if they can see a jig moving that fast, but I'm using a Colt sniper, it's a 28 gram. We're just gonna have to try tomorrow, shoot! All right guys, it's currently like 5.40. I'm gonna go try to fish off the rocks, see if I can make something happen. I'm really hoping my hat is in the car because if it's not, I'm about to burn my face off. I just realized I don't have any type of knife to cut the bait. I got a whole octopus and some shrimp. The shrimp I can pull apart. Not so sure about the octopus, so we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> if I can't find a knife, I'm gonna have to use my teeth, which is gross because it's raw. You can see it's, it's still dark, but the sunrise is coming over that mountain. You can kind of see. Get out there, first light, try to catch some fish. Really the best time to fish on Maui is really in the morning. And then obviously sunset, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. Most places like in the world, so try to get on that morning bite. So if you look over there, those were the deer that I actually was hunting yesterday. And you could see a buck way in the back. That's what I was hunting the other day. And I was able to get a good buck. They run wild on the island, it's pretty crazy. And I found my hat, so that's good, so I don't... Oh, there's, there's another one back here, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's another buck? Oh, there's more bucks. They're through the trees, so you guys won't see them. Maybe you will, but there's three all right there. Wow. That one on the far left was a good one. And he looked like he was hard horned. A lot of these bucks are still in velvet because they're still growing. That's pretty cool. I don't think you can hunt them here. But yeah, this is where I was at last night. This wasn't the spot where I was trying to go. This is my plan B. We're gonna throw the jig around because I don't have a pole holder. <laughs> Just a stick in the sand. So we're gonna throw the jig around maybe. And I've seen a ton of whales since I've been here. A ton of whales. Dory. Dory, this is not whale. Let's get out there. Shoo! <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Sorry. We caught our first Hawaiian fish of the trip. And he's a bruiser. He fought super hard. Just kidding, he didn't fight hard at all. But there we go. That's one in the tank. Let's let him go so he can get bigger. Go ahead, buddy. And he's off. We'll take that. You know, catching fish is better than catching no fish. First on the board right there. I switched to bait. Since I'm using a sinker, it's very easily snagged. And I don't have a pole holder, so I gotta hold it the whole time. But I did tie a breakaway, so my main line is 15 pound fluoro, and then I have my weight tied to 10 pound mono. So hopefully if something breaks, it's the weight, and then I get my rig back, and then I'll just tie another weight on. So, shoo! All right, guys, I just finished up fishing. I caught that one little red fish. I have a spot that I really wanna try that I didn't go to today, because it's a pretty hardcore spot actually on that side of the island if you could see it i've actually been spearfishing out here and there's a ton of fish you just kind of got to go out a little further and i didn't have a dive watch like when i dove this but it felt pretty deep pause big pause and it's only 7 25 we still have a ton of time i bet you mila's not even woken up yet and i'm only 10 minutes away from the resort so i'm gonna go back there get them and eat breakfast all right guys so we just had breakfast here babe is still eating what you got there a lot of different things omelet 
French toast, pancakes, fruit, peach, bacon. And then me, I have completed my journey here. So I'm full here. And all these birds try and steal your food. And they gave me a cage to keep the birds off of it. But I suspect that the birds were in my food and that's why they put the cage on there. You're gonna get the bird flu. So look at this. The hotel is under construction. There's somebody just dangling and he's working obviously, but we just walked in and, <laughs> and seen this. It's like, it's like, what's going on over here? We actually have two surprise guests who are on their way to Maui right now that uh, are gonna make an appearance, but one gets in today, the other one gets in tomorrow. So you guys are gonna have to wait till then to see them. Yeah. Yeah. We at the beach. We're at the beach. We're at the beach finally. We, we, we haven't really had a real beach day right here. This is the beach at the Grand LA. It's one of the nicest beaches on the island, I am told. I didn't bring the GoPro waterproof case so you guys aren't gonna get to see anything. I'm not really swimming around anyways. Walk around in the water, I guess, with yeah. some goggles later. Yeah. All right, Kiana's ready to go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We have another 5 a.m. start and I forgot some so I gotta turn around. I forgot the whole octopus. I bought an octopus from an Asian market out here. Asian markets have the best fishing bait. It's still dark. The birds are starting to wake up. This thing is so gross. Look at it. You guys can see all the all the juice down here, but That's nasty. it's fish love. This is just like dripping through like the condensation and it stinks. Our rental car stinks because of this leaked in the back. And now our rental car smells like a seafood market. So, get some fish. All right, guys, we're out here. We're not fishing yet, but we're out here. My buddy Benny and his wife are coming down right there. This is a nice, easy path to get down, but look at that. I mean, absolutely incredible. And then there's some locals over there fishing right next to us, but I mean, look at that. Just beautiful. So me and Des came here last year and we really wanted to spearfish here. We just weren't confident in our ability to get out of this surge and it looks a little dangerous, but you can see there's a steep drop off that runs right along here. I mean, 20 yards for me, it's 60 feet deep and just gets deeper, so pretty cool. I gotta catch some bait and then we'll be fishing. I'm trying to catch bait and I just caught one first cast, so I'm gonna show you guys again so I get it up. All right, these guys are thick in here. Oh, and he's on. Okay, we're gonna get him back in the water because we don't want to So it's not the target bait species. But there you go. Alright. Another species off the board here. Stringer. We caught a huma huma. Now we got the Huma Huma is what I'm gonna call it for short, but I left my GoPro up there. I didn't want to run up there, so I filmed it on my phone. I gotta be back before nine, so I have like 30 more minutes to fish, so I'm just gonna try to catch as many fish as possible. All right guys, so we're fishing, we're catching a couple of fish, but there's a couple, I think they're humpback whales, that just breached right here. We'll see if they'll do it again. Come on, whales. I just know the second that I put this camera down, they're gonna do it. All right, this is the point from the lookout. So we were fishing down there. Which is where everybody comes to see the whales. And there was a couple of whales because like, they were walking up. I don't know where they're at now, but they're out there for sure. I've seen a lot of them. There's again, there's again. You guys see that, you see this hump? Yeah, that's right. I wasn't lying, there is whales in Hawaii. Oh yeah, big old tail. But tomorrow, me and Benny and a surprise guest that you guys are gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see. We're gonna go on a boat and actually fish. Like this is just our pre-fishing that we had to do to get the bad luck out the way. Little hint, tomorrow's guest is a handsome guy. He's not a handsome guy. He's the ugliest guy I know. You're ugly, you're disgusting. And he's even uglier now because he grew his beard out. All right, time to go. Obviously, I have a hard time accepting defeat. 
So we're back at the beach right before sunset to catch some more fish because I'm not gonna let some fish beat me, okay? So I'm gonna catch some fish and I'm gonna set you guys up. I haven't made a cast yet. I have not made a single cast yet. So I really don't know how it's gonna go. Okay, Kiana and Mila are back in the Jeep eating. It looks like we already got a nice tank. This shrimp from the grocery store, the best bait always comes from the Asian markets because it's food quality, in my personal opinion. I'm starting to think I don't know the definition of vacationing and relaxing. It is currently 3.42. And we are going fishing today. So when you go fishing, I gotta wake up really early. This is nothing new, but I gotta wake up even earlier because I gotta go pick up our surprise guest and take him. He's staying in Kihei. And then I had to wake up even earlier because they only valet here at the Grand Wailea. You can only valet and it costs like 50 bucks a day. Yeah. That's the only way that you could park your car. I got the fish and fit, you know what I'm saying? We got the white long sleeve, the blue shorts, and then I got the, oh yeah, baby. And then I wore the blue shorts because I got a blue hat. You, you got to match, match on match on match. But, uh, okay, get my car. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> This is our surprise guest, all the way from San Diego. How we doing? Wow, wow, look at that. Look at that, we're about to go fishing. So Dez and Benny were our surprise guests here. And Sleeping Beauty here isn't ready. Uh, he said he'd be here at four. That actually kind of smells good in here. Not because of you. Oh my I'm pretty sure the hotel just smells good. Oh my gosh, are you packing right now? I'm putting my stuff Hurry away. up, hurry up. Look at this dude, he has clothes on the ground. <laughs> you trying to die? <laughs> I'm trying to catch some fish, baby. All right, we're on the boat and I'm using, and I'm using my phone because the GoPro is bad luck. I'm convinced that the GoPro is bad luck, so I didn't even bring it. Right now, it's, it's super dark out there, you can't see anything. This is tired. Look at him. Tired. You're the one who said tired. I did not say that. We're on our way out to the fishing grounds right now. We got a little bit of a drive. Get it out there. Wake up. There's no sleeping. You said that you were going to take a nap as soon as we got on the boat. I didn't say that. Made it out to the fishing ground. After Desi got a nice nap in. <laughs> so we're out here. We're not trolling yet, but we're gonna start trolling here pretty soon. We've been trolling for a lot of hours. And no bite yet. No bite yet. I'm not gonna lie. Morale is low, but we still have hope. Desi over there. It's tough. All right, guys, we've been trolling for five hours and we have no fish, no bites. So we're headed back, but we're still trolling. So, like I said before, morale's a little low, but we still have hope. We're still going. So, we it right here. The reason why we haven't caught any fish is because of that man right there. And how is it my fault? Because... Wow. He just said something dumb. But no, this is a page charter, so it's definitely not my fault. 
Wow, guys, there was zero fish caught. But if you fish a lot, you know that's how it goes sometimes. But honestly, I think it's Dez's fault. Dez is bad luck. <laughs> I've never been fishing with Dez where he's caught a big fish. And Dez was up on the pole first. So. Uh, go ahead, say it. No, say it. Say, anything. say it. <laughs> We're about to go to uh, Chick-fil-A before I drop Dez off at the airport. We're headed to Kahului. And just like that, Desi's leaving. It was a pleasure not uh, catching any fish with you, bud. Pleasure is mine. He's on his way to... Oahu. He's on his way to Oahu to meet some of his other friends. You know, it's crazy. I'll miss you, Mila. I'll miss you, Mila. Don't say my daughter's name. <laughs> Alright, bro. I'll All catch him. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, Hawaii has proven that it is a lot harder to fish than I had planned. You know, I've been to Hawaii. I've caught a lot of fish here. Just not this trip. That is actually the end of the video. We have two more days left here in Maui, so I'm going to spend the rest hardcore vacationing. No vlog camera, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.